So what I have here is a version, like I paused this video and I went back and selected all those markers that I had, put back values on them, on the uh, rotate stiffness and rotate damping to default values, which is one. If we select this now, you can see that here. Same on arms and everything. How can we make those changes that we were talking about earlier? You start by the root or the, the lead, the parent, and you start making your changes from there. Here, in this situation, in this example that we have, this animation, where is the lead? Actually, the lead here is our hips marker. But for that, I'm going to leave it alone for now. I'll start by adjusting this. This first marker for our spine. Okay, And what you need to start with, there's really no no right or wrong here. It up, it's up to you, up what you want to, to achieve. But before we make any changes, let's just play this with the default values and see how close that is, like default values that you get from Ragdoll, uh, how close that is to our mocap. Let's play that. It's pretty close. Check here. Compare the this marker. Like shoulders, arms. Pretty close. If we clo if we look at this top view, you get to see that it's really, really close. If we play this again, see that? right now if we go back to front view and we select this marker what I would start with is to lower down this value the rotate stiffness to lower it to 0.1 that's what I go for but it's up to you and that depends on how how far would you allow ragdoll to simulate this in comparison to stay closer to your mocap okay in my case I want to have my mocap as a base but I want to add weight so I went on and I just changed this to 0.1 on all my spine markers like that 0.1 and before I increase my rotate damping, which we said that will increase your slow in and slow out, let's just play that. And we have now our rotate stiffness to 0.1. Let's play that again. Already, if you just focus on the on that uh, last marker of our chest, you can see the difference in rotations, right? Now let's look at that from again from top view. You can, st you can start to see some difference because it's now more simulated okay now what about the arms if we go here to front view again we select our arms let's go to frame one and we select our arms what we have now for them is again our teeth stiffness of one or teeth depending of one which is default if we put those on 0.1, look what happens. And here, 0.1. And instead, let's, let's play this here and see the difference. Okay? In gray, what you see in gray now is actually our ragdoll simulation bigger changes with what's in black again let's play this again black is our original mocap and you see bigger changes on our arm this is the arm that we were changing compare this one let's play this again compare it to this one this one is, is trying to stay closer to mocap our underlying motion that means if I stop this now and I go select some of those markers on the other arm and I increase my rotate stiffness, it will try to stay closer to mocap, okay? But of course, remember, when you're adjusting something like the arm, it is still inheriting motion from its parent. So no matter how rotate stiffness you add, no matter how you increase that value on the arm, it will never reach 
that exact mocap you have underneath if those changes or those values on the on the chest which is the the lead or the parent to it is different okay if you're way away from like this the values here or the motion that you have here is way different from mocap don't don't expect to get this to follow your mocap as it is okay now the next step for me would be to go and increase my rotate dampening okay on this um, on the chest or on our spine but before that let me just show you one test here one example for rotate stiffness I'll increase that but before I do so I'll also get back my rotate stiffness here to one here to one why am I doing that because I'm trying to show you how if we increase our rotate stiffness we'll get closer to mocap okay default values get you so close but if you increase that you'll get even you'll get even closer okay so for this time I'll just increase our teeth stiffness on this the last of our uh, markers I'll get that to five which is a big change I'll get this rotate stiffness to three and I'll leave this to one the first of our chain our spine okay and then I'll go here to rotate stiffness again get that to three I'll get that to five uh -huh. and I'll keep that maybe at one for now okay let's play that and let's focus on this screen left arm see it is trying every frame to stay look at the upper arm it's almost identical to our mocap almost identical that's what I was talking about let's go back now and focus on our goal you understand the difference let's focus on our goal my goal increase that slow in and slow out get this to look heavier okay so now we have this on one rotate stiffness I'll put it back to one one for now on arms I'm not gonna be concerned with arms I'll just focus on this the spine for now okay for the spine I'll, in, I'll put that rotate stiffness to 0 0.1 0 0.1 again and 0 0.1 here and now I'll be increasing rotation dampening to get that slow in and slow out effect I'll go with three and those values I've experimented them a bit before we start this tutorial you can you can take your time to experiment with what values that works for your rig of course your shapes your character your mocap but that's what I would do why three five and seven is just because I see that the bigger shape here have more rotation so I'm trying to get more slow out and slow in into that okay that's why I'm increasing that value of rotation dampening on this three five seven and let's play that all right play it now if you focus on this it's a bit more stiff it's the change that rotation that would has that would happen before spe especially on this uh, last marker is way less now okay let's watch this from our front view mm -hmm. see the difference in black that's our original mocha what if I increase that okay what if I add again rotate stiffness to 0.1 on the neck and increase dampening to five let's see the difference now see the difference that neck is not rotating anymore okay and we're not what what's what's happening here is that we still have our rotation stiffness to one let's just lower this to 0.1 so what we're happening now is that we're increasing that slow in and slow out on the neck while not trying to commit to those exact frames that we had for mocap mocap is now a guide but we're increasing this see 
compare head here with the neck you can probably see the difference now let's put the same let's do the same or well, let's before we do that let's um, take that rotate dampening to maybe nine five or seven and five here cool and what I'm going to do is to take that rotate stiffness even lower so I'll go to that to 0.5 here 0.5 and same here see see the values that I'm changing those are tiny changes because the lower you go okay you will be able to notice those changes now see the difference now it is much more stabilized if we can say that it is much more contained the motion that we have see the difference between the and look how fast we were able to make those changes just changing an attribute okay based on that understanding that we have you get a new version in a minute that's what I was talking to earlier that's what I was talking about earlier when we when we had the option to get faster results easier variations based on that understanding of what we want okay let's let's play this from our perspective view okay and again black is our original rig focus on the upper body you can see changes now okay now let me open a scene where I have our final values to show you what I was able to to do at the end to really refine my results okay